right, it is now Wednesday, uh, the 17th, and it is the night before my second attempt at an MRI. So, um, we went to the appointment for Tuesday. I didn't vlog that day. I was feeling very sick, and I should have. I should have just handed it to my mom. I want you guys to be a part of everything. Um, but when they weighed me again, it was like 56 pounds, which doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, I haven't been eating much at all lately. It's just been, I've been very sick. Like, I just, I don't feel, I haven't been feeling well. I've been, um, I've been throwing up more, uh, you know, like I said, this vlog, if you don't like to hear about that kind of stuff, like vomit and things like that, you know, this is definitely not gonna be the vlog for you. I'm not gonna be too graphic, but anyways, back on track. So we went to the uh, endocrinologist on Tuesday and she basically said uh, everything was looking really good except the things that we were um, already sure of, which was the, possible, the testosterone was low, which we knew already. Um, so they're gonna prescribe the uh, androgel again, which is a testosterone su supplement for me to rub on my, um, my shoulders and stuff. And then uh, we also have uh, my iron was really low, my calcium, everything. There's a, there's a, there's a cardinal in the chicken coop. You know that? Did you know that? Yeah, they wander. Their okay, that was weird. A lot of my levels were really low, which could affect a lot of the stuff that's going on in my body. And she also suggested eating eggs more, which I can't eat eggs really too much right now. So we mix it in like grape juice. I think I mentioned that before. That will help my feet with the way they're swollen. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's all for that. Um, that appointment went well. After that, we dropped off my stool samples. And then we went to, uh, since my doctor's right there, my mom went to check and, and tell him how things were going. He wanted to know how I was doing and I explained everything to him. And, uh, or she did. And uh, he's really concerned. He just really wants this to go ahead. And he was really upset the armor I didn't go through on Saturday. So they should have done it. So, um, yeah, I think he expedited it cause, because they called us that day and we got it set up for uh, tomorrow, like I said, Thursday. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but uh, uh, they, they said they'll take care of me. Um, they're gonna have like a lobotomist, or I think that's what they're called, um, come in and look at my veins through like a scanner instead to make sure they get my vein uh, the first time with the IV. And I'm gonna have um, an hour before to drink the three things and I'm gonna make sure I don't like overeat tonight and uh, I'm hopefully not nauseous when I get up in the morning. Uh, we put it to 11 instead of like eight in the morning. So, uh, so that's everything for that. Uh, like you, as you could see, it was snowing outside. It's like two inches, two to three inches in here in North Carolina, which is crazy. Um, we've only been here for like a year, but it, it's been, uh, hasn't really snowed this much, which is cool. Uh, so um, hopefully it's not that bad tomorrow, but we'll see. And I uh, just wanted to catch you guys up on everything. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be vlogging more of the stuff that's happening. Uh, other than that, yeah, I just got a little sick yesterday, uh, the day before. Um, this week, I guess it's just been a little crazy, and uh, I just it's it, I I was feeling very weak yesterday, like I was just dragging myself. I couldn't even. I had the camera with me the whole time. I just couldn't do anything. So that is all for that. Uh, I will keep you guys updated with the next MRI, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm excited. Let's get to see everything. So I will see you guys in a sec. So we're here now at the uh, the MRI room that we were here, same one uh, from Saturday, and uh, this is our second and a half attempt at an MRI. So uh, this um, we were ready to come this morning. Not yet. Okay, so the nurse just came in and explained that. So again, this is uh, the third time trying to record this. Um, I need to uh, go on the MRI first uh, without anything. They'll do the brain scan without the contrast, which is the liquid that they inject into you to basically darken everything so they can see it better. Then I have to come back out to give me an IV, and then I have to drink those three bottles of um, contrast liquid for my stomach, go back in and do the contrast with my stomach, and then also another contrast with uh, the brain scan. So that's what's happening today. Um, I didn't mention it before, um, but uh, 
I don't think I did, but the doctor suspects that it's probably gallbladder or gallstones problem. So um, I had a, hair, a terrible flare up last night and this morning, and it's been happening all day. And it's exactly where the gallbladder is. So I'm I'm suspecting like this, these pains that I've had for so long, it could have been the gallbladder this whole time. Um, so. Um, that's a good thing, but at the same time, taking a gallbladder out is a big deal. So um, I'm going to have to uh, figure that out, and we're going to have to decide. Um, and uh, yeah, so it snowed last night, and uh, we actually had to almost uh, cancel today. At, so we canceled at 10 o'clock. We didn't go, but then we called and see if they could uh, make it. Um, and uh, lo and behold, they said, we can get you in at 2. They, no one was answering. Everyone's closed down in here. You saw the snow. So, we made it. Um, so this is it. Mom's gonna record uh, everything happening and uh, she's gonna be there with me and uh, see what happens today. So, I'm very nervous. I postponed the IV until after the first... <coughs> I postponed the IV until after the first scan. So, after that, then we'll see what happens. So, um, I'll keep it postponed, okay? Here comes the, the brain scan part. Connor, what happened? Tell the truth. You couldn't because what? You're claustrophobic. I'm claustrophobic, yeah. Uh huh. And then panic attacks. They tried to put me in the. They showed me what it was going to be like for the brain scan. It's uh, they have to clamp your face down like like an iron, whatever that movie was with the the mask thing, and it it basically clamps it to the table and you can't move your head or anything so that that would freak me out. I never liked being strapped down like that and then um, they found that I couldn't even fit in the tube so they had to turn me on my side and they, when they squeezed me and it was basically like touching the sides so I, I just I couldn't I panicked and um, they were just testing it first they didn't even put the IV or anything so um, I wasted a trip here again. And, now we're just seeing if they can switch it to a CT scan, which is supposed to be a bigger... I've done it before, but I don't remember. It's a bigger tube, so... Um, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know. So, I just want to... just want answers, but uh, we got to do it the right way, and I'm going to try to eat more today when we get home, if we do. Um, and uh, try again, I guess. But we're all pretty disappointed. I don't want this to go on too long, sorry. touch with a doctor now so for what for a CT scan yeah to switch it to a CT scan which is uh it's a little bit different but um I don't know it, this one is supposed to be better but it's it's still it's still something so um, my dad comes home tomorrow too so he's been away for almost a year coming over back a year forth. yeah over a year actually um he's been coming back and forth from Tennessee to back here and, and Texas, he was in Texas for a while. A year and two months, actually. Yeah, a year and two months. So, so I'll be finally back for good in, uh, in a day and... Um, no worries. <laughs> I can't find any way to draw it. Oh. The, one that's, the one that he wants. Which one is so, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> I still got to this book too for my doctor. In it's in Perry Madison Medical. Cold. I have a stop here. <laughs>
good. Huh? I don't want to hurt you this time. I'm scared. He's getting nervous because of you, <laughs> and you're getting nervous because of him, right? Trying not to this this thing like look like. Huh? You're talking about angry birds. <laughs> Connor, what are you doing again? I'm fat. We saw some on. nice people here <laughs> that are taking care of Connor. They're amazing. <laughs> God bless their heart. So. All right. No questions. One more time. Okay. That's it, Connor. So we are finally home after that long nine hours in the hospital. Um, I don't know if I if it was explained in the vlog enough, but we went for the MRI and it was uh, they just couldn't fit me and they didn't even let us record in the room because my camera would get screwed up and there's also some privacy stuff. I don't know, but um, we couldn't get me in the tube. They tried sideways and then when they got me really close, I was just like bundled up inside. I was like I couldn't even fit. It was it was kind of scary. Well, I could fit barely, but I, I've. That was just mentally like too draining for me to be it um i have a huge fear of like close spaces so um and then the the brain scan didn't go through as well because they i didn't get to show you guys but i'll probably see if i can find a picture of it online they basically strap your head down in this like cage and you can't move your head and then being in that little tube it was like it barely fit me inside there it just it was like if i move my arms out a little bit i feel the the walls oh my gosh so they didn't put the iv in at that moment they called, um, they had to call my doctor to see if they could do a CT scan instead, which is, uh, like a CAT scan, which is, it's like a bigger donut. The hole is bigger and also it's, uh, thinner. So you're, when you go in, your feet are still sticking out. You don't feel like you're like up against the wall and it was still a little tight, but, uh, they, they called them. It took about like 30 minutes or more and we finally got an answer and he said, yes, just do it. So we had to go to the back end of the hospital and, uh, that is when finally, um, we made it to uh, the CT scan. They did the IV, which which hurt a little bit this time. Um, actually, we have the video for that, so it's cool. My sister did that, and uh, my sister and mom were huge troopers through this whole thing, um, just dealing with all this. And uh, I, I love them so much for that. And uh, yeah, that was it. We uh, got the CT scan. The nurses were amazing. Um, they called. They they actually sent it in right to my doctor immediately, and also the um, the guy that works with the CT scan stuff, the doctor. And uh, they said that um, no, nothing looks wrong with my gallbladder, but I do have gallstones, which my mom has had before, and she's had her gallbladder removed. Um, but she had gallstones before, and uh, he doesn't think that's an issue, but we do. We think that uh, I've looked at the symptoms, and I'm having all those symptoms, uh, especially the vomiting and the the pains and everything. So, um, but it did say my intestines were inflamed, which is obvious. I knew that already. So. Anyways, enough of this talking and talking. Um, we got home and uh, I was we we're just I was so happy to be home. Um, I I went to the restroom, came over here, uh, had some chicken broth or beef broth, bone broth that my mom makes, and he said basically stay on kind of like a, a very low inflammation type diet for a couple of days, like you know not too many foods and stuff. So um, we're doing that and uh, also. I fell this morning. Uh, I came out of the bathroom. I, I squished a bug. I was feeling very dizzy today, um, and yesterday was very weak. And I, my crutch turned, and when I tried to grab, I, I kept like swinging. I don't know how to explain. I have a gif that I posted on Twitter that shows exactly how I fell. Basically, I just kind of. It wasn't of me. It's another character. I don't know where he's from. But I twisted, and then I grabbed the wall, and I slid. And then I hit my knee on the floor and then I turned my shoulder and my my right leg turned inward as well. I don't know how to explain it, but basically I was on the floor with my head smashed against, like I when I hit the floor, then my head went like bam and I hit it like right here. There's no bruise, which is weird, but that was really painful. So now my, my toes are like really hurting, like they broke. Um, but they're just very severely bruised and then my, my knee is like now starting to feel really bad and my hip and everything's hurting and then I screamed like mom, mom, mom and then my mom came running and screaming like oh my gosh and she like grabbed me and tried to pull me up and my sister was screaming and 
it's funny now, but it was kind of traumatic at the moment, of course. And then my sister grabbed a chair, and my mom was like lifting me up, and then my dog was trying to see if I was okay. My mom like grabbed him and just like, get out of here, little freak. Well, not this one. It's the other one. Oh, there he is. Let me see if I can see him. Hey, Momo. Momo. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's scary. Um, yeah, he was just trying to help me, but uh, he was uh in the way. Um, so I got up and uh, now I'm just very injured on the couch, so trying to get through that uh pain right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna. That's the end of this vlog, I guess, for this section. Um, that was just this whole MRI saga has been insane, and I guess I'm not getting one, so um. We'll see what happens now. At least I don't have to get surgery, most likely, right now, I guess. But the pain is still there. I mean, it's great to have answers, but I just don't want that pain anymore. I, I was I was very, I was was very, in a very bad place on yesterday um, in the morning and the night before. It was very painful. We did um, notice that, uh, yeah, after we had to cancel because of snow, we, did, we were able to get that appointment. So that was cool. That was a good blessing um, for us. So, uh... For now, that is the end of that. Um, the next step, we actually do not know. We're waiting for a doctor to call and stuff and uh, discuss more, I guess, about inflammation. Uh, other than that, that's it. So I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.